This video is a critique and is therefore protected under fair use. Why hello there, Obsidian Madman here. These are the top 10 most destructive robots to compete in modern battle bots. While most of the ranking is based on previous battles, destructive potential is also a factor I kept in mind when putting the order together. Essentially, if a bot is known for tearing other bots apart, then it's here. Let's jump in. Number 10, Witch Doctor. Witch Doctor is everyone's favorite duo that attracts more bad luck than a one-leaf clover. Shaman's great and all, but it's the main bot that dishes out the hits. It's equipped with a skull-shaped drum spinner and an extra thick blade to defend against spinner attacks. While it wins less than it should, it never goes down without dishing out a hit or two, usually. Number 9, Complete Control. Instead of using kinetic energy to scrap its victims, this bot uses heat. It'll grab and burn whatever falls into its claws as it holds its prey up to the audience. In due time, this bot will claim more victims, but for now there's only one battle where he pulled it off. Still glorious. Number 8, Season 2, Bite Force. Potential? Yes. Execution? Questionable. This iteration of Bite Force deals a gnarly vertical spinning bar that could have been great. A friend of mine told me that if it ain't broke, then don't fix it. But then we wouldn't have gotten this. Put a plate over that exposed chain and you've got yourself a monster. It wasn't a conventional redesign, but certainly one I look forward to seeing in the future. Number 7, Beta. Ever had a washing machine dropped on you? Apparently John Reed has and he turned that mode into a robot. Beta is the first hammer bot in modern battle bots to not suck. Its destructive power comes not only from the point at the end of its hammer, but also the swing radius. Even though John couldn't get many shots in, the shots that do land leave marks. Other hammer bots should take note. Number 6, Bronco. Six wheels, one flipper, maximum hang time. Bronco is the king of the few flippers in BattleBots, letting gravity do the dirty work. Bronco has one job, launching bots into the air and letting them crash to the ground. Bronco is very good at this. Phenomenal driving and a bulky design allows Bronco to take control of all of his battles. Number 5, Nightmare. I'd like to emphasize that when robots are in the box, they look smaller than they actually are. Knowing this, Nightmare becomes even scarier. The terrifying saw is about 3 feet in diameter and doesn't take prisoners. There are two teeth on the edge of the saw that give it the extra punch. It also rotates in either direction. While the three-wheel design does cause stability issues, the destructive potential and iconic look make up for any design flaws. Number 4, Ice Wave. That is a 47 pound blade that is traveling 300 miles an hour. Well, there you go. Ice Wave is a nasty spinner with gray tips at the end of its blade, making it difficult to see. It's not good at self riding, but it is good at ripping faces off of other bots. On the right front side, Here's to a season 3 comeback. Before the top 3 are revealed, here are some honorable mentions Cobalt. First of all, Cobalt is essentially the same as Robot Wars' favorite Carbide. Knowing this, it was surprising we only got two battles out of it. Cobalt did show tons of potential in both fights, making me look forward to any future battles. Hypershock. It's had some great moments, but not enough destruction or reliability to set it apart. Give a few parts an upgrade and this will be a bot with some serious hits next season. Stinger. It doesn't have a spinner or hammer, but it's very good at turning kinetic energy against its opponents. It's easy to disregard this design, but just ask Warhead how it did. Now that those are taken care of, on to the top cut. Number 3, Minotaur. Finally, time to talk about my favorite bot. Minotaur is a dense drum spinner with a 70 pound drum that rotates at 10,000 RPM. All 250 pounds is packed into that tiny space, which allows Minotaur to dish out hits like these. The drum has only one tooth, which gives it more opportunities to catch on to something. Hide your children and shield your lights whenever this bot comes into the neighborhood. Number 2, Son of Waiachi. Taken out of retirement to settle a bet, Sal uses three meat tenderizers to obliterate any and every robot that ends up in its way. I heard from somewhere that the weapon system alone takes up half the bot's weight. And what can this weight do, you ask?
It's too bad we only got to see two successful battles with this terror. You can bet more bots would bite the dust at the hands of this legend if the chance arose. Finally, number one, Tombstone. Who else? As the king of horizontal spinners, Tombstone brandishes a thick metal bar that takes up half the bot's perimeter when spinning. This offers more defense than the show gives credit for, as this makes it harder to make contact with the body or take out the wheels. But all that's really important is how well Tombstone rips its opponents apart. With all of Tombstone's knockouts in modern BattleBots, it easily takes the top spot as the most destructive BattleBot. Well, I hope your favorite bot was here. This time I wanted to make something the fans would appreciate. Tell me down below what my next ranking should be. I've got stuff planned, but your input is what drives these videos. But whatever your thoughts are, I'm Obsidian Madman. Peace out, folks. I look forward to your return.